Hello everybody and welcome to a Super Bagel video once again. Uh, here's everything you need to know about Super Bagel in just a few minutes. The first thing you're going to want to know is how to switch to Luigi. So in order to switch to Luigi you want to click or tap depending on which device you're flying on. This Mario icon here in the corner. And it, it turns you into Luigi. Now, a bunch of Mario, Mario skins do work with Luigi but it doesn't look as good as it is with Mario. If anything it just looks like Luigi. And then to switch back to Mario, you just click it again. I'm not sure what the goal is to out for. But, uh, yeah. So then, to change the skin, which you saw me do, you click change skin and put uh, any skin there. There are skin IDs on the board over here. I'm gonna change into one of the developer approved skins. It's our, uh, uh, there's a tutorial on how to make skins in the Discord, which I will put the down below. The second thing you're going to want to know about Super Bagel is how to BLJ because uh, a lot of people don't know how to BLJ properly. So the first thing you want to do is learn how to long jump. Because BLJ stands for backward long jump. Once you get long jumping down, you're essentially just doing it in reverse. Now if you're playing on keyboard and mouse, you, you tap shift and then space. Like, not shift and space, shift and then space, one after another, in order to, uh, really do your thing, you know? So then, once you do, once you learn that, you want to come up here, long jump, and then hold shift and space with, uh, walking towards the stick. Because shift and space in this version is Mario 64 for this. Uh, well, just holding space in general makes a big full jump. But you jump more, which isn't accurate to the actual game, but I, I don't really have an issue with it. Now, the second thing you're going to want to know about this version of Super Bagel, or just Super Bagel in general, is resetting. You just reset like normal and it tells what you back to the time. Now, I already did a lengthy tutorial on how to get into the debug room. Uh, it's like 10 minutes long. I'm going to also put that down below in case you want to look up. How to get to the debug room. But the easiest way to get to the debug room is to long jump into this wall right here, like this, and then just like hold space while long jumping. And it clips you into here. Now you could probably use this for one of the speed runs to get on top, or you can walk all the way over here, drop down here, and make your way down here to the debug room. Now you jump right here and ground pound. Boom. You're inside the debug room. Another thing you want to know is the purple coin. Now the purple coin is right here and it just gives you, I think, a lot of coin if you collect it. So I'm going to speed up to when it gives me the max coins here. I already had 10 so if you have zero coins it gives you 255. But uh, yeah. Alright, so the last thing I'm going to show you, or the last thing you really want to know, is how to get that star so you can express your superior knowledge. So what you want to do is once you're up on top of the staircase, you want to line yourself up with this corner here, and then tap W or forward to line yourself like this, and then do, and then do colon SM64, tap, space, ME, space, wing. And that gives you the wing cap. And then you want to hold space and W to do a triple jump, and boom, you should be sailing straight to the star. Now, the reason why you have to line up with that corner is so you have enough space for the triple jump, uh, because you can only use the wing cap with the triple jump. But once you get the star, you can be like, yo, guys, look at this. I got to the top of the castle. And yeah, it's pretty cool. That's all I really have to show you. Comment down below if there's something else I should have added to this list. 